Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make what I call paper bead clusters using this metal base and we're going to be making this paper bead clusters. So the materials are this 14 millimeter base small paper beads and jump rings and your clasp. I'm going to be using magnetic clasp. You need tweezers and for tools you need the chain nose pliers just to open the jump rings and the diamond glaze to set the beads into this findings. So what you need to do first is take your diamond glaze and squeeze it onto this finding. you want to make sure that there's no bubbles because that is kind of a challenge with the diamond glaze. It will form bubbles and you don't want that in your finish piece. Somehow my table is not is tilting towards this way. So what you're going to be doing next is take a bead and just drop it on there and you just kind of see which ones would fit on there but don't worry about it they would adjust themselves and they will fit on there So I'm going to take maybe a little one and I have a blue one there already, take this and then this one. So right now, I'm just going to take my toothpick and move them around and make sure the holes are not facing up so you can see the design or the paper on your paper bead, not the hole. So we can still squeeze in one more on there, one more little bead. And there you go. So, when you see that they're all saturated with a diamond glaze, then it will be ready for you to dry. But if you see some spaces and where the diamond glaze is absorbed by the beads, then you need to add some more. And if you have bubbles coming up, you poke the bubbles with your toothpick. I'm lucky this time there's no bubbles coming up. So we already were just going to set that to dry and I already have made a few and dried them last night. So they all look like this, like little plates filled with paper beads. I call um, the bead clusters. So we're going to be joining them with the jump rings. I already attached the clasp on this one just to um, avoid spending too much time doing that. So now we will attach them with a jump ring. So the jump ring, you can open the jump ring. This is a four millimeter jump ring. 
you open it this way okay you don't open it this way so sideways so I will attach I will just attach this into the jump ring and then close it a four millimeter jump ring is perfect for this size. So there you are. And you just continue joining them together with a jump ring. And then we'll see our finished bracelet. So I am now going to connect the last piece. As you can see, we already have the clasp, the magnetic clasp connected. And they're already all connected except this one so don't forget to measure that's very important so right now we have seven and a quarter with which is just going to be perfect size so we're going to attach our last piece take the jump ring open it and then Oops, uh, they're so small. Go and close it back. And there is your finish clustered paper beads to look like fruits on a plate, don't they? And there you have it.